ABC. What's up, y'all? It's early morning, y'all. I'm tired. I'm sure y'all see them bags, but I'm on my way to the gym. I'm going to start work today. I just got here literally like, how long has it been? Like four days and I already landed a job. I ain't playing no games out here, but I got a good ass job. I start today. So I'm from the workout this morning. I always work out Thursday through Friday, so it never changing. But I've been not getting sleep like that though. Like, man, like I get up. I've been waking up a little bit later now, but I be getting up around like, what time it be? It be like seven, six in the morning. Then right after that, I be up doing whatever I'm doing, working applications, writing what I want, writing what restaurants to apply to before I got this line at this job yesterday. I be having to do plenty of stuff. And I be up all night too, just writing shit and brainstorming shit. My mind be going and going out here. Cause I just know I can. I just know I can do plenty of shit out here. Look, I just got lost, I had to turn around. I'm at my auntie crib right now. So. Get this workout in over here. I'll see y'all when I'm there. All right, y'all. So I just made it to the gym. It's so beautiful here, y'all. Look at that. Look at the pool right here, right in the morning. Shit, beautiful. But I'm gonna get this workout in. Hustle, do what I need to do. Get dressed, chill for a bit before I go to work. And like I said, it's crunch time. I'm gonna stack up this money and do whatever I need done. So I'll let y'all catch some of my workout for a little bit for today. Okay, I just finished up my workout. I'm feeling good. I did the majority in the gym and I worked out a little bit by the pool. So I'm heading back to the house and I start the new job. So I will be back letting y'all know how to first day at my job. Room. But I'm so happy and blessed. I literally, I was so happy. I didn't know I was crying when I got that job. Y'all know how much I've been praying for getting the right job. And I got accepted really quick for some other jobs, but they wasn't what I needed financially to get to where I'm trying to be. But then I landed this job and I'm meeting my financial goals with this one once I started. So the blessings just run away. And ever since I started choosing me, y'all remember this. Everything been going right for me. Everything. I cut off on necessary people. I cut off on the negativity. Circle got small. It's mostly just me now. And I'm kind of in the state where shit, 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 get a, shit get a little lonely when you're by yourself. But I'm cool with this shit. It ain't even like a bad lonely. Like, I'm by my lonely right now. I'm cool with it. I'm learning about myself. Like I said, three years to myself. I'm trying to see what I can do. And I know I'm finna do some amazing shit, so. Ooh, I'm out of breath. But I'm in this isolation where, I'm in a state where, you know, I was getting tested because I'm about to elevate, but I'm finna do a lot of shit watching too much. Shit finna go crazy watch. I'll be back though, letting y'all know how the first day of work went though. What's up y'all? I was extremely way too tired, so even vlog how it was last night. But it's Friday morning now. I go to work in a few more hours. Um, great first day. Um, I love the environment. It's very organized. It's high class. It's, it's a whole new world. I'm open up and I got so much about the job. But I'm, I'm definitely going to put the work in and learn about the restaurant in and out so I can get out there and start making them get out of the So, But even when you're being paid, I already am making great money. So I learned anything with training in the training process right now. So I'm just super blessed right now and yeah, like I can't wait to see what what these days hold for me. Every day has been something completely new. So I'm just I'm going with the flow, but it's calculated moves in the same way. So I'll be back with you guys soon. I'm chilling on a porch right now by my aunt's house. Man, this shit just crazy, though, y'all. One thing, okay, I'm gonna share something with y'all. I got 
I got a pride thing. I hate to ask for help. I hate to... I like to figure out a lot of shit on my own. But, can't be like that. Like, I literally came down here, like, as you can see in the first episode. That suitcase I packed up, that's what I came down here with. Like, that's all I got. Like, all the rest of my clothes is at the crib. The car I used to get around with at the crib. I left a lot of shit behind just to start all new so I can get my grandma down here. And this shit driving me crazy already. It's day five. But I got a job at least the fourth day in. So I know things gonna change. I just gotta trust the process. But shit. Like. What's up, guys? I am currently by the pool. I'm relaxing. I'm writing out. I'm manifesting what else I want in life. I manifested coming here to Atlanta, and that shit is crazy. Like, I just grabbed a suitcase and just jumped right down here and took that risk. But I'm, some of y'all gonna learn about me. I'm a risk taker, but it's calculated moves I make, though. I don't just take stupid risks. Everything I do is a calculated move. So, even if y'all understand right away, you're gonna find out why I did it, because it's gonna make sense later on. But I'm just writing out what I want in life, the essentials I need, the non essentials in my life, what I want out of life, like, what I want to be, nothing is holding me back anymore because I cut all the toxicity out of my life. That includes friends, family, whatever. Like, you got to do it. You got to do it. You have to for your sanity so you can be where you want to be. And that's at that stage I'm in my life. Like, I choose myself. I don't care who you are. I choose myself all the time. Now, my happiness, my mental matters to me. My financial state matters to me. All that shit is top priority. Not what nobody think of me or like, I don't care how nobody feel about that. My peace is at the most utmost high now that I chose myself. So, <sighs> I'm just like, it's so beautiful. There's so much greenery here too. Like, look at that. Wearing down everything, my little book. Just some. Man, I just want to share that with y'all. But I literally, the way my life is, something new happens every single fucking day. Just because I'm writing down what I want and it literally comes to me. It, it's like manifestation is real. You write it out and of course your actions will follow. You just don't write it out and expect magic to happen. You got to be there mentally with it. And then once you're there mentally, you need to be healthy too and fit. Because once you fit, that, that helps you think better. That helps you. Everything plays a role and you just take care of your overall being as a person. It don't matter who you are, man, woman. So keep that in mind, y'all. I just want to share that with y'all before I share what happens next with me in this week. All right, uncle, what time is it? Nope, I'm, I'm vlogging. I don't know what time it is, y'all, but you got me in the, what you say, we're in the jungle, 1024. 24. We're in the jungle, baby, as my uncle would say. Yeah. <laughs> Out here hiking with him. This is, this for real feel like the jungle. <laughs> he told, y'all, I can't believe, like, it's actually snakes, all types of stuff here, and that scares me, and I don't know. And this tree fell over the, oh shit. This tree fell over on the tree. Now, I'm gonna buy a swamp of <laughs> You tell me to run. Okay. <laughs> it's so pretty. Well, I guess y'all can capture me on this trail for a little bit. Watch me. Look at my face, y'all. I'm clearing up out here. It's beautiful. Okay, y'all gotta see this. Oh, this is beautiful. I told myself when I get down here, I'm gonna get out of my comfort zone. This is definitely out of my comfort zone. <laughs> I don't went on hikes before on this channel, but not no for real words. <laughs> this is freaking gorgeous. He just showed me a whole nother world besides the city. <laughs> this is a nature preserve. Nature preserve. Thank you. 
donated like millions of dollars to the city of DeKalb or Decatur yeah. for parks. And this is somewhere some of the money went. Wow. That, that, just, that just scared the heck out of me. I was what is see this just seemed like creepy on all, on so many levels. direct them to here via their GPS coordinates and then they'll open that up and then pull out whatever piece of paper they say pull out the other piece of paper and they'll tell them what the next treasure is to look for. And I'm not looking go, for no treasures in here. Uh -oh. so babe you want to see what's in there? No. Nope. I'm yeah. scared. What do you even Well, you can sign it. Oh, you just sign it? And then it? come back like 10 years from now and say, go oh, sign it right there. <laughs> See, she signed it 417. What's the oldest signature? Let's see what's I don't the know. There was some stuff out here that me and. Uh, what do you do out here? Just imagine. I definitely can see that happening out here. Uh, the white bird out there.